Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Yep, your eyes are not deceiving you. We are doing 2016-17 Panini Select Soccer. Four box, third of a case, random team, random country break. Number six from jazbeeshobbyland.com. These are the last four boxes of that case. Very big thank you to Lucas, first of all, for waiting so patiently. He, he bought, this, he bought us the first spot ages ago. And then finally today, for some reason, everybody, everybody wanted to get into it. One spot gets you two teams, two countries. So let's double you up right here. There's all the countries right there. Plus, no, no combos. Oh, yeah, there's no combos in this break. All right. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list three and a one four times. One, two, three, and a one four times. Very easy. Got a bunch of CJ Monroe's. Down to the Todd Father. Three and a one, four times for the countries. One, two, three, and a one, four times. Very easy. We've got Hungary down to Germany. All right, so CJ, here are your block of teams right here. Hungary, Ukraine, Bosnia, Herzegovina, Spain, Poland, Roy with Ireland, Portugal, France, Russia, and Montenegro for you. Philip with the Netherlands, Roy with Mexico, CJ, Sweden, Big Boys 007, Romania, Rick T with Colombia, CJ with Austria, England, Argentina, Lucas with Belgium, CJ Monroe, Italy, Stephen K, Last Spot Mojo, Chile, and Northern Ireland. Todd with the United States. Nice. Christian Pulisic is in there. Big Boys 007 with Brazil. CJ with Slovenia. Philip with Croatia. Lucas with Ireland. CJ with Uruguay and Turkey. Cote d'Ivoire for Rick T. CJ with Wales. And Todd with Germany. Let's sort by column B. All right, so there you go. Feel free to trade. Uh, Rory has uh, Mexico and Ireland up for trade. We'll give it a few, a few extra minutes before we call the, or a few extra seconds before we call the trade window. All right, no trades, no trade offers for Rory. Rory looks like looks like Robbie Keane and Chicharito autographs will have to go to you. Unless you want to do Chile for Ireland. <laughs> I'll allow it if you want to do that. It'll be it'll have to be uh, Robbie Keane's for Alexi Sanchez's. I don't know if Alexi Sanchez is in there. All right, Rory's going to pass. So trade window officially closed again. Let's do this. Rex saying, okay, never say I don't help out in time of need. What did you do, Rex? Well, we're going to find out in a second. All right. There's the select soccer. There's everyone else right there. Oh, nice. Rex filled up the hockey. Look at that. That's a five-star effort there, Rex. I like that. Appreciate it. All right, well, uh, hockey coming up next. Chile is actually a pretty good team, Stephen K. You got uh, Arturo Vidal and uh, Alexi Sanchez is in there, who's currently being wasted by Jose Mourinho 
in Manchester United at Manchester United. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have not seen this already, uh, be sure to check out Jose Mourinho's recent press conference on Monday after after Manchester United was delivered their worst home loss since the since the advent of the Premier League. They lost 3-0 to, uh, to Tottenham, Tottenham Hotspur, which is Harry Kane's team. It was a bit of an embarrassing performance, but his press conference was pretty legendary. You guys, you kind of have to, kind of have to see it. At some point, he he holds up three fingers and he goes, "You you know what else three means? Maybe it's this. You know what else three means? Three three also means the titles I've won in the Premier League. All the other managers in the league don't have three. <laughs> Which I thought was an amazing statement. And I was like, man, what American, what, what, what coach in American sports would do something like, would, would, would call out someone like that in a press conference? Who would do that? <coughs> Belichick wouldn't do that. Who would do that? I don't know, Lane Kiffin? I feel like he would say something like that. There's Gareth Bale, former Tottenham man, select few. I think Nick Saban, maybe. I don't know. He seems he seems a little chill, though, isn't? It? No, would he be that bold during a press conference if he lost a game he shouldn't have lost, and then it goes, "You know how many t national titles I've won?" Maybe. And we've got for Germany double team memorabilia: Mats Hummels and Mario Götze. Nice dual relic for Germany. That goes to the Todd father. Not numbered, but dual relic coming your way. Yeah, that's that's why Jose Mourinho for um has been great for TV for the Premier League. Thirty two out of ninety nine. Lucas Fabianski, nice jersey and auto. For the Polish keeper. It's pretty strong. CJ Monroe. Thirty-two out of ninety-nine. And there's Neymar. Which the unfortunate thing about Neymar that's out of two ninety nine. The the unfortunate thing about Neymar is that he's such a great player. But him just rolling around, you know, at the World Cup, I think really took the luster off, off him. Big Boys 007 with Brazil. Another German, Marco Royce. Rex is asking if I've seen Hiller or Eddie in a while. I've not seen Eddie in a while. But it's funny you should mention that. Hiller, I, we just saw today. 102 out of 149. He was in a Diamond Icons break. He was not very happy <laughs> at the end of the day. I'm going to save one of these Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo is in the in Serie A now. He's in the Italian League. There's Diego Alves. Um, that'll go to Brazil, by the way. We got Stefan De Virge, defender for the Orange. Nice. Got to have. Got to have the orange relic. If you ever get like their alternate uniforms in their relic, you're, just, you're always just like, eh. It's got to be orange for the orange for Philip. And we got Federico at a 75. 
Bernardeschi. For Zaozuri. That goes CJ. All right, there you go. Box one in the books. What are we looking for in here? One autograph and two memorabilia cards per box on average. Got it. Uh, Rex, I told you, did I tell you that, uh, that I met Eddie and, and, uh, and John, Johnny questions when we were at the national in Atlantic city, played blackjack to like 2am after one of the, after one of the nights, it's good times. No Hiller though. I think Hiller, I think his daughter had a birthday or something. He couldn't he couldn't get out to to Atlantic City. Yeah, I've seen Eddie more recently in the in the chat more recently than than John. All right, next box. Good luck, boys and girls. We've got Christian Fuchs. So the refractors like that will ship, of course. The commons will not. Nice Cristiano Ronaldo. And Gigi Buffon. And Marco Verratti, double team memorabilia for Zazuri. That goes to CJ and Italy. And I love these tie dyes here. It's Lucas Podolski for Galatasaray. He will be for Poland. And that'll go to CJ Monroe. Love these tie dyes. Six out of thirty. German, sorry. He's not German. Who am I thinking of? Am I thinking of Lewandowski? I'm thinking of Robert Lewandowski. That'll go to Todd. Sorry. There's Robert Lewandowski. And there's Luis Suarez, the biter. Out of 125, incredible goal scorer, too. That, go to, that goes to Uruguay. That'll be for CJ Monroe. Out of 125. And we've got tie-dye die cut. Admir Mehmedi. 23 out of 30 for uh, Switzerland, looks like. That die cut will go to Switzerland not on this list. No, I don't think so. All right, so Switzerland. There we go. Penny sleeve it folded over a little bit. That'll represent um, any of the teams not represented on that list. And so someone will get uh, that die cut and whatever else. All right, we got Wayne Rooney, National Pride. That'll go to England. Goes to CJ Monroe. We have not seen the autograph yet. We 
We got Mario Goetze for Germany. 11 out of 30. Another nice tie-dye for Todd and the Germans. And 92 out of 99. For Austria, Mark Yonko. He goes to CJ Monroe. That could be the autograph. It's 9 out of 75 for Belgium. Nasser Chadli, jersey and autograph. thought Belgium was going to go a lot further. Uh, that goes to Lucas Snow with Belgium. There you go, Lucas. Finally. We made it. We did it. Thanks for your patience. All right, two boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a hockey break coming up after this. And then I'm not sure what we're going to do. Not sure what we're going to do after that. Do we have any English uh, Premier League fans in here? Anyone who watch? I support Liverpool. Started off very nicely this season. Looking pretty strong. Could contend for a title. It's funny that uh, I sort of I've ado adopted this team ages ago in the Michael Owen the Michael Owen years which led to the Jamie Carragher Steven Gerrard years and whatnot. But I realized that I adopted a team that is much like my Dodgers. I don't think I don't think Liverpool have won a title, a league title, since like the late '80s or early '90s, something like that. I think Dodgers haven't won a World Series since 1988. Man, should have done some research. All right, <laughs> good luck, everyone. Now, Rory needs something good here. What about like this guy, Robbie Keane, former LA Galaxy player as well? We've got Manuel Neuer. Sky's the limit. And Todd just racking up the cards for Germany. Look at that. There you go. Legendary keeper. Another legendary keeper right there. And we have for Ireland. Ah, Seamus Coleman. That goes to Rory in Ireland. I think he plays for I think he played for Everton for a little bit. The Liverpool's in city rivals. But they're more like the Clippers instead of I'm watch, I'm gonna get like hate email from Everton supporters. Sheridan Shakiri out of two forty nine. For Switzerland, he's on Liverpool now as well. I think they meant to try to get him a couple years ago. They finally got him. Finally got him uh, this season. Wayne Rooney at DC United, and then we have Adrian Ramos in his Borussia van uh, Borussia Dortmund gear. Not sure where he goes. He is Colombian. That goes to Rick T in Colombia. Is he still playing? I was like, he's kind of he's a little on the older side. He's like 32, which is old for a soccer player. I guess so for a lot of athletes.
Nice Cristiano Ronaldo for Portugal. That, all those Cristiano Ronaldo's going to CJ Monroe. Portugal. All these will have uh, some value. All those might even cover that spot. Then we got Philippe Melo. There you go. For Inter. Like Carmelo. He goes to Brazil. That'll be for Big Boys 007. Actually, I should write these down for the shipping team. It'll make life easier for them. Columbia. Rory thinks there's a train whistle in here. I honestly don't remember what was in uh, the the other thirds of the case. Other uh, two thirds of the case. It's been a little. It's been a minute or two. So, so I don't remember. All right, Todd. I'll save one of these Christian Pulisic's for you as well. You know so. In four years, when he's a legend, maybe he'll go to Chicago or something. There's Shane Long for Ireland out of 125. What do we have here? Seems to be the, the light blue of Argentina. It is 20 out of 30, Javier Mascherano. Autograph. Nice. This is a really nice one. Argentina, CJ Monroe. Nice. Former Liverpool midfielder. And for Barcelona. He's had a great career. Shakira's husband. And nice tie-dye Gareth Bale. Nice. That goes to CJ Monroe in Wales. One out of 30. Pretty amazing player. Definitely hit a pretty ridiculous bicycle kick goal against Liverpool in the Champions League final, which I did not like. But a fantastic player. That was a nice one for CJ. All right. Last box, ladies and gentlemen. Did I miss a Pele? Uh, Gavin, when are tip products typically put up on the site? Day before or two? Et cetera. Um, it depends on the release. If, if it's like a big release like National Treasures... We'll typically place those on the site almost a week in advance, but usually most of the time it's the night before or uh, or the day of, the morning of, before, like many hours before I go on air. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. Thanks to everyone who helped fill up all of these select soccer breaks. Sure, we'll... Uh, we got noir soccer in the store, folks. I'm sure we'll get some, some more of the select at some point. Got 13 out of 30, Gareth Bale. 
Nice tie-dye relic. That's awesome, CJ Monroe. There you go. That is a fantastic hit. You got a bit of the uh, the stripe in there too, the Adidas stripe. That's pretty cool. We got Ivan Rakitic, two out of 30, who we saw for Croatia. Philip with that one, nice tie-dye. Then we've got Nasser Chadli again, 80 out of 199. Autograph. For Belgium, Lucas with Belgium. A couple hits for you, Lucas. We finally did it. We got Olivier Giroud, 167 out of 299 for Le Bleu. Ted, we've got some hockey coming up next. The two-box break of Ultimate Collection hockey. And then after that, nothing else is full. Sky's the limit. Hugo Loris for France. For France. Your World Cup winners. It was a great World Cup over the summer. We got Ben Davies for Wales out of 125. That's a good gold. That's a gold card. CJ Monroe. Any spots? Any op plenty of open spots on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Diego Costa relic for Spain. CJ Monroe. Oh, for the hockey. No, we only do breaks when all spots are full. So yeah, so no spots in the in the next hockey break, I'm afraid. There's David Luiz, and there's Alexi Sanchez. And there you have it, folks. Solid four box break of 2016-17 Select Soccer. Let's figure out who's gonna get these uh bonus die cuts here. Both uh both Swiss players. So let's go back to the list. Let's grab the names here. And let's roll the dice. We'll randomize that list two and a two, four times, four the hard way. One, two, three, and four. After four times, Rory. There you go, Rory. A couple extra die cuts coming your way. One's a tie-dye. And there you have it. Thanks, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Check back on the website for more fun soccer. We've got noir soccer in the store, folks. That's a nice high-end release. Well, let's check that one out, too. We'll see you next time on jazbeeshobbyland.com.